Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl, Belasian Quita, and I'm here doing exclusive coverage of the 2013 VMA Awards on MTV. But before we get to today's video, which is the pre-show coverage, I wanted to give a shout out to all you wonderful guys here at Media Fame TV on Twitter. So, a shout out to our new followers. We have over 501 followers, so mwah, thank you guys. So, we have Denise Landis who is a food writer, professional recipe tester, and she has an awesome blog which you can check out at dinersjournal.blogs.newyorktimes.com. We also have Koreatown. Koreatown is an exciting place to learn about Korean food, Korean music, language, the culture, fashion, merchandise, all of that. So please make sure you follow them at Koreatown. We have Lexi Forche, D20, who is a DJ, gamer, and Hustling, hustling, hustler. And we have Femke with Dima, who you can check out her SoundCloud, which is at soundcloud.com slash F-E-M-K-E-W-E-I-D-M-A. We also finally have at Mushigoza or Mushigoza5485. So thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. So without wasting any more time, let's get down to the VMA coverage for the pre-show. First off, much, I must say, okay, Sway in the morning looks more like Sway in the whack. I'm sorry, the outfit was good, but that that little do-rag hat or whatever, that's got to go. I am sorry, but it is the VMAs, and you are representing MTV, so please look professional, especially as a person of color. You're representing all of us in the entertainment industry here, okay? So really, as a man... You know, because I always say, you know, I always hear little black men are like, oh, that dude got to look good. So please look good, Sway. I would appreciate that. He did a good job covering the pre-show, so I was proud of him on that fact. Miley Cyrus looked like a cross between Candyland meets Selena Gomez. I mean, that outfit, she had this little mid-drift tank top. That's like something you would do Tybo with Billy Blanks. I mean, it did not look good. So, girl, please get it together. This, it was like just all these candy plastic pieces. And now she's hanging out with, I put in quotes, black people. Because when she was Hannah Montana and when she was doing the climb and all that, I didn't see as much, a lot of diversity in her videos. So now why are you interested in people of color? Kind of, you know, doing the booty twerking and all of that. And then Ellie Goldin, she looked gorgeous. And there's this trend with like spiky... Um, necklaces and spiky appendages coming out of your dress hers was perfect that's how you're supposed to wear it now in contrast Katy Perry had this leopard with the spike I mean it looked like a it looked like the Lion King car accident it was not cute but her makeup was flawless that's another trend that has transitioned from the non-Hollywood culture is warm neutral tone makeup looking like you are fresh like you just woke out of bed, but you still have makeup on and you look good. So both of them looked fabulous. Robin Thicke and his wife Paula Patton looked really good. Paula Patton stole the show. She was one of the best dressed to me. Her outfit was, she had black and silver and matched Robin's um, suit. And it she just, she kills it. Every time she kills it, she looks good. She looks good. And then of course Lady Gaga looked natural. Now her hair was a hot mess and take those glasses off okay I'm sorry but you're not Diane Keaton that outfit she had of course was typical Gaga attire she had this like high-end black kind of plasticky looking couture type dress and another thing that I thought was really interesting was during the pre-show they had this really interesting kind of interactive thing going where you could send videos and ask questions to celebs and they would like pick random ones which was kind of cool and there was a photo of Richard Simmons kissing Katy Perry's hand I'm sorry but Richard Simmons this is not a fitness convention so what the heck are you doing at the VMAs okay and then of course Wiz Khalifa looking crazy he I, I swear he looked like just a hot mess like I mean he looked like he was 12 he, he pretty much looked like Austin Mahoney's cousin <laughs> I mean honestly that that's just how he looked like I thought that was just so funny that he looked that way and yeah speaking of that um Danity Kane it they were together minus one member hmm I wonder who was missing and then 
they said that they're coming back together. They're working on a new album. That's interesting after the fact that Aubrey O'Day has released a new album, and it was not good. I wasn't really impressed with it. It was really short, and uh, uh, yeah, I'll have to do a review on it. It speaks for itself. But the good thing is Danity Kane's back together, and actually they're one of my favorite um uh, pop groups. I love that song Bad Girl they did with Missy Elliott. It was really sexy. It was good. It was good. So good good thinking Aubrey got back in the group. And then of course Austin Mahone looking like some reject of like just of, of Justin Timberlake meets um Justin Bieber, you know. Like <laughs> I mean he looked like a box of crayons on the fourth of July. I mean he looked really bad and that whole like uh -huh. You know, that, 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 was, that was just crazy. And then, of course, Katy Perry, once again, with the natural makeup. I mean, that was really key when she came. She looked really good. And then they had that other girl. I forgot her name because she sings that song like, I love the way you make me feel. I love it. I love it. And she looked like she was at her own quinceanera. Like, she looked young, 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 young. And it was, it was kind of like age appropriate, but not age appropriate. And she looked so nervous. So whoever is in the camp of that girl, make sure she's better prepared for a big award show. Because honestly, that can make or break your career. And I think it's very important to teach new talent to be solid and to have confidence when you sing. Like, look, my throat is sore, but I still sang the song. And I showed I was confident. So come on, girl. You can do better than that. Nikki and Sarah were really annoying. And the other thing, too, Sway was the only person of color up there, like, doing any kind of interviewing. So where's the diversity, MTV? You guys, you know, promote yourselves like this diverse network. Where, where, are, the, where are the people of color? Where are the Asian reporters, the Latinos? You know, white, everybody should feel included because if MTV is a global empire, you got MTV Asia, you got MTV Europe, you got MTV all over the place. So where is the diversity? That was my problem. And then finally, Taylor Swift with that red lip, Selena Gomez also have it. And I'm sorry, Taylor Swift, we are tired of the red lip. It makes you look like a clown. And that outfit, you know what? Good for you. You can do the pinup girl look. Fabulous. Like, let's see you do something else. Let's see you, like... Put your hair down and not look like you're 12, like you're going to prom. It's like every one of your songs is about breaking up with a boyfriend or I knew you were trouble. That is just annoying. Like this is the reason why guys are not interested in a lot of women anymore is because of songs like that. Like, you know, we need to start singing songs about, you know, being strong women and and unifying and finding that right guy and all that. And there are songs out there that do that, but I just think this culture is becoming super, like, bitchy alpha female, and that's just really annoying. So what do you think about the pre-show? Leave your comments below. Follow us on Twitter, once again, at Media Fame TV. Follow my personal channel, which is at Blazing Quita. And remember, that is our world and our rules.